Pampangan Indie Film magkakabaong won big at several award-giving bodies such as the Hanoi International Film Festival and our very own Metro Manila Film Festival New Wave category. And to tell us more about this movie, we are joined by its writer and director, Director Jason Paul Laksamana. Good morning, Director Jason. Good morning. Thank you for joining us in Daybreak. And first of all, congratulations. Thank you. I heard that uh, in the third Hanoi International Film Festival, this film won mm -hmm. Best Film. Um, and best, best Asian actor, film. Best Asian yeah. film and Best Actor yeah. for your lead character, um, Alan Dizon, for his role in um, Randy, that, that yeah. was his name in the movie. And at the same time, in the Metro Manila Film Festival, in the New Wave category, it's the Best Film, Best Actor, and best one director. more. Best Director as well. So congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Thank How you. is it so far? There's a resolution also from the House of Representatives, and they want to honor this achievement of yours as well. Um, the funny thing about this movie is that um, it's my third feature film, mm -hmm. yet it's the film where wala akong inaasahan. Ah. Ginawa ko lang talaga siya to tell a story. Mm -hmm. And like my previous films, I had ambitions of winning or uh, going to international film festivals or uh, you know making profit. But for this film, I just it's just pure storytelling. And then uh, it so happened. Siya pa yung parang na mayag pag. Mm -mm. Siya pa yung na ano talaga mga na recognize na gusto mm. din ng mga manunuo. So as a result, because I had zero expectations, so mas ecstatic na tuli tuli yung uh, achievements na nakukuha ng pelikula. You wrote this story as well. What compelled you to write about a father who mm -hmm. accidentally killed his daughter by giving him the wrong medication, mm -hmm. right? A lot of the uh, plot devices that I used in the film. Um, they're from real life, not from my real life, but mm -hmm. you know, uh, from what you see. Yeah, I, I researched about the the coffin industry in one town in Pampanga, Santo Tomas. Uh, it's known as the coffin capital of the Philippines. Uh, from there, parang na research ko na rin yung ibang aspect ng uh, death, like uh, funeral, so hospitals, and nadami ko nakita ng uh, magagandang stories, mm -hmm. including yung uh, how some kids die because of wrong medication mm -mm. na yung antibiotic pala ay mm -mm. allergic sa ibang tao. Mm -hmm. uh, and meron pa dun sa film ko yung the buying and selling of cadavers yeah, na tackle din students. yun. Yes, so yes. Uh, ang dami kong nakuhang real stories na pinagtagpi-tagpi ko. Ngayon yung father na yun, based din yun sa isang totoong kwento. Uh, sa balita kasi last year, merong isang father na wala siyang pambayad sa ospital so he had to steal the body of his dead daughter from the morgue of the hospital oh. so yun real Para mabenta niya mm. to get money not not not, not, really? not, not exactly oh. pero yung aspect na having to uh, steal the body mm. of your own daughter mm -hmm. sa isang institution dahil wala kang pera so parang uh, ano lang na inspire lang ako kaya inintegrate ko dun siya sa kwento mm -hmm. Now, how long, um, you used Kapampangan in this film. Yes. Why did you choose to retain, to, to use the Kapampangan language and not use Tagalog? Um, well, first of all, I'm, I'm Kapampangan. Um, before I became a filmmaker, a uh, culture worker na ako sa province namin. Mm -hmm. um, before I became a filmmaker, uh, I, I have already used several media mm -hmm. to promote Kapampangan language to the youth. So, music, uh, theater, even cable television. Pero film ang naging pinaka-favorite ko kasi uh, parang lahat ng discipline na hilig ko nandun, writing, cinematography, uh, etc. And at the same time, film kasi yung pinaka-exportable. Meaning, even non-kapampangans, pwede nilang ma-appreciate. Right. Because That's right. number one, it's visual. Mm -hmm. And number two, there merong subtitles. Mm -hmm. Unlike, alam ba, kung literature, mm -hmm. I... I, I I send you a kapampangan poem, mm -mm. you don't know what it means. Pero kapag film, May real time, naiintindihan mo, natatransport kita dun sa That's world right. na gusto kong ipakita. So, kaya film, uh, kapampangan films yung ginagawa ko. It's quite interesting because there are those who say that although you're tackling a social issue, it's yes. about poverty, and yet, it's not what, there are critics who are saying that we've been churning out what they call poverty porn. Yes. But this one is not. Mm -hmm. It was that a conscious effort on your part to make sure that it won't come out that way, that critics would see it that way? Yes. Um, first of all, I, I myself am against uh, poverty porn. Uh, for those who don't know, poverty porn, ito yung, you just you know show images of misery, economic misery, one scene after another. 
na wala naman talagang kwento. Parang you're just trying to tell the world na ito, ang hirap-hirap yes. sa Pilipinas, period. I'm not interested in that. Uh, ang focus ko kasi is story talaga. And then yung poverty dito is ano lang, parang background lang ng life. Pero not all the decisions that the characters make are due to poverty. Pinapakita ko rin yung human side. So in that aspect, I think, nadi-differentiate ko yung pelikula ko na hindi siya poverty porn. Kasi hindi siya yung uh, puno, dulo ng pelikula, storya. Many did appreciate this movie of yours and I read that producers are already knocking on your door and saying that they're willing to produce your next film or next projects. Um, How yeah. true is that? Yeah, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> so, what else can we expect from a director, Jason? Um, the sure thing right now, uh, since natuwa yung producers ko sa magkakabaong, uh, we are the same team. Gagawa kami ng panibagong film. It's also a kapampangan film. It's also, it's also stars Alan Dizon. Mm -hmm. um, this time naman, it's set in Minalin, Pampanga. It's a town sa Pampanga na every New Year, January 1st, meron sila tinatawag na Aguman Sandok Festival. Aguman it's Sandok when Festival. the straight men of the community dress up as women. Really? Yes, and have a festival. So that's interesting. I didn't even know that there's such a yeah. festival in, in, in Minalin, Minalin in yeah. Pampanga. Okay. So, it's a, hindi pa siya ganun kasikat eh. So, gusto mm -hmm. ko rin siyang promote mm -hmm. At the same time, ang dami niya kasing discourse about gender roles, ganun-ganun mm -hmm. ganun, stereotype, na magandang i-discuss sa pelikula. So we're looking forward to that next project of yours, Director Jason, and thank you so much for joining thank you. Uh, for joining us this morning. And for those who have not seen Magkakabaong mm -hmm. or The Coffin Maker, where can they watch the movie? Um, right now, wala pa kaming uh, sure na screening. Ang we work out namin ngayon is magkaroon muna siya ng Pampanga premiere kasi mm -hmm. ironically, it, it has not been shown It there. has not been shown in Pampanga. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been to several international film festivals from Canada to New York to... Um, Right now, sa, mm -hmm. sa India, showing mm -hmm. sa India ngayon, and then meron pa siyang Egypt at Cleveland. Uh, so, kakatapos lang sa Metro Manila Film Festival. So, ngayon, mm -hmm. ang win workout namin is Pampanga Showing. Okay. Para naman yung mga, yung kapampangan mismo, ma-appreciate nila yung pelikula. Probably right. January, February. So, siguro, ilike na lang nila yung magkakabaong page sa Facebook for updates. All right, Thank you so much for joining us this morning. And that was Jason Paul Laksamana. He's the writer and director of award-winning indie film, Magkakabaong.